The mRNA vaccine technology has been under development for a number of years, and it has been through an extremely rigorous set of testing in the last year. And it's been shown in these trials to be safe. It wouldn't be licensed if it was not safe. My name is John Tregoning. I'm a reader in respiratory infections at Imperial College London. Vaccines train your immune system to recognise viruses and other infections. And what that means is that when you get exposed to the virus, you then kill it without it causing any damage to your body. So the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is what's called an mRNA vaccine. And this refers to the way in which the vaccine itself is manufactured. So a lot of the vaccines that we use are the, the sort of more traditional vaccines are based on proteins or whole killed viruses. This is slightly different because it uses a molecule called mRNA. mRNA is the messenger molecule. It's how the nucleus, which is the kind of uh, brain of your cell, uh, communicates to the rest of the cell to make things. So the nucleus contains the DNA, which is like the library from which the kind of instructions come from. And then it turns it into mRNA and these go out to little protein factories called ribosomes in your cells. And the ribosomes behave a little bit like 3D printers. If you tell them, give them some instructions, they'll print out whatever you want them to make. So in the case of the mRNA vaccine, the instruction is to make a protein from the SARS coronavirus called the spike protein. The spike protein is part of the SARS coronavirus and it's what the virus uses to invade our cells. So if our immune system can recognize the SARS spike protein, it can then stop the virus from invading our cells. The mRNA encodes the spike protein, and then when it's injected into people's muscles, the muscle cells start making protein from the virus. So it's just the outside spike from the virus. It's not the virus itself. It's not infectious. And this material then trains the immune system because the cells release it into the body and the white blood cells of your immune system, and these are called T cells and B cells, can recognize this material as being from a virus and it trains it to give you an immune defense if you ever come across the real live infection. If you've had an, a vaccine injection before, it'll be very similar to that. So you'll just basically get an injection into your arm muscle. It, it may feel a bit sore 24 hours later. The immune system will then start developing its protective response against the virus. It's then really important to then come back for a second immunization when you're asked to do so by whoever's providing it. And that is probably, that is between three and four weeks later. And it's only when you've had both doses of the vaccine that you'll be fully protected against the virus.